Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Apache, PHP 5, uh, MySQL, and PHP MyAdmin on Ubuntu 8.10 using the Synaptic Package Manager, which we get to right here. Click on that and you'll need to enter in your admin password or your root password. Now this won't install the most up-to-date versions, but it installs the most stable ones and uh, and uh, they consider updates whenever uh, security or bug fixes are uh, are needed. So first we search for Apache and we'll find it right here. Apache 2 is what we want. We'll mark it for installation. And now to ask you uh, about the extra libraries, we'll just click mark and we're going to click apply and then apply. So it's not the way you would install the most up-to-date versions of it but uh, the these are definitely stable versions and they all work together really well you shouldn't have any problems all right so now we have Apache installed. The next thing we're going to do is go to uh, install PHP 5. So just like Apache, we search for PHP 5. And then we're going to mark it for installation. And it, it says that it needs to remove one package because it's going to replace it with a pre-fork. That's fine. We'll just go ahead and... Alright, we're done with that. Next we want to install uh, MySQL server. MySQL server. And that pops up. So a we'll quick mark for installation. And it needs to install extras, that's fine. Click apply. All right. Now during this installation, it's asking me to set a uh, set a password for the root user. This needs to be a very secure password. Don't follow my example because it's not. And then it wants you to retype it. That's to make sure that you didn't make any typo errors. Alright, so now that's finished installing and the last thing we have to install is uh, PHP my admin. Just type that, an option comes up, mark it for installation. 
It needs to remove one, that's fine. All right, now this thing can automatically uh, configure our uh, for our Apache server. We want to click Apache 2 since that's which one we installed. Close that. All right, and there's one more thing I want I like to add. It's a GUI for uh, configuring Apache. It's called R Apache. There it is right there. And this is a really good, really nice uh, tool there to uh, to control Apache with. All right, and once that's finished, we're done. We've officially installed it. Uh, you can find our Apache, you can find it right here. Kind of give, show you real quick what it's like. Here, here's the uh, default address. It shows you the status of Apache down here in the bottom. You can add mo uh, modules that you need to add to Apache just by a simple click. And you can even view like uh, your log files, like error logs, click and open it you can see uh, you can also set your settings for your things such as domain name the folder that it's working in additional domains uh, where you want it, the log files to be like if you wanted to separate them this directory listing I'll show you real quick how that works uh, well there's probably an index file there but anyways, you this uh, keeps people from viewing your uh, your directory files. Local host. All right, and that would take us to there. And uh, that is how you do it. You take and uh, set this to disable there to keep them from like going. Say you had a subfolder, and they typed it in the browser. Normally, you see the files. If you don't want them to be able to do that then uh, you just click disable and it will uh, keep them from seeing it you can set security there and then here's your actual definition file if you want to go in here and make any adjustments to it you can do that as well but uh, anyways there you go that's how you install it you can also uh, you can also view my webpage and the tutorial the, the written tutorial on this for more information about uh, MySQL, PHP, MyAdmin, and uh, and Apache itself.